Okay, so I've gotten some questions on how I set up my uh, floating head switch in the MyPlasm CNC. So today I'm gonna try and walk you through that because I had a hard time finding information on it and I finally got mine set up. So I figured that uh, I would share the what I've learned and what worked for me. All right, so in the program, you're gonna have the settings tab up here. So you're gonna click on the settings tab. And this is assuming that you already have your switch hooked up. So I have my switch set to normally open. You, you can wire these switches either way, normally closed or normally open. And that depends on how you're setting your floating head up. But I have my floating head up to where it comes up and actually activates the switch. So you would want a normally open switch so that whenever you go up and contact the switch, it's going to close the circuit. And then when you close that circuit, it in, in terms goes into your control board in your material detection setting and lights up and finishes the circuit. So that in your software, it knows that it is uh, the circuit's closed and it's touched the plate. Um, so from this point, the part about the floating head switch is you always have to compensate for the amount of movement that it takes to activate the switch. So from that's what we're gonna do today. So once you open your settings tab, you're gonna go to functions up here. And so then you're gonna make sure that you have the floating head switch uh, checked and uncheck the ohmic sensor because you're not gonna be using it. The detection height, I have it half inch, which is, that's fine, that works for me. You may wanna change yours, but you know, that works for me. Don't worry about the ohmic correction. The detection speed is, I have set to 30. Um, now the switch correction, that's the number that we want to make sure and change here. So um, what I did was I started out, just say one inch of switch correction. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the number here and I wanted mine to move up Let's see if I've got this right. So I wanted mine set to 0.1, which is my pierce height. So that's what it's gonna go up to right here. The touch off is gonna set to whatever your pierce height is set at. So if you wanted to do 0.125, so eighth inch, you know, or whatever, uh, you would put that setting here. And so I had a piece of I think it's 12 gauge, which is just under 0.125, which is like 0 0.10, whatever I got on my digital caliper. Um, so I entered, I left it at 0.1, and every time I would test this number and just hit test. So the torch is going to go down and touch off, and it's going to reset itself, and you can watch here gonna touch off and it's gonna go back up to whatever my pierce height is set at. So this plate that I had, which was 0.1 almost exactly, I just kept measuring back and forth until I had my number correct to where I could slide that 0.1 plate just underneath this nozzle and barely touch the nozzle and the plate. That way, once I got that setting in and the number right, then your backlash is set from that point. And so then you can write these numbers down and you know from this point that if anything happens, this is the number that was correct and set up with what was working. So hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any more questions, you can reach out to me. But this worked for me.